April 10, 1815. Mount Tambora, a towering volcano on Indonesia's Sumbawa Island, erupts with staggering force. It becomes the most powerful volcanic eruption in recorded human history. The explosion is so violent, it's heard over 2,000 kilometers away, like distant cannon fire rumbling across Southeast Asia. Tambora's summit collapses instantly. Its height drops from over 4,300 meters to about 2,850. A massive caldera forms in seconds. An estimated 160 cubic kilometers of debris blasts into the sky. The eruption column rises 43 kilometers high. Then come the pyroclastic flows, searing clouds of ash and gas race down the slopes. Entire villages vanish in seconds. Nearly 10,000 people die instantly. Ash begins falling across thousands of kilometers. Even ships in the Java Sea are dusted with it as skies grow dark across the region. In Bima, over a hundred kilometers away, homes are buried in ash. Survivors stumble through choking gray air, blinded and lost. With crops gone and water poisoned, famine grips the region. Over 82,000 more die from starvation and disease. But Tambora's impact reaches far beyond Indonesia. Ash and sulfur dioxide enter the stratosphere, spreading across the globe. In 1816, the Northern Hemisphere enters the year without a summer. Crops fail. Frost strikes in June. In New England, snow falls in June. In Switzerland, writers like Mary Shelley are trapped indoors by freezing rain and gloom. Global food shortages follow. In Europe and China, riots erupt as grain prices soar and panic spreads. Despite the devastation, Tambora remains little known in the West for years. Communication is slow and fragmented. Today, scientists classify Tambora's eruption as VEI-7, supercolossal. Few events in Earth's history compare. Now, the Kerala lies silent, lush, green, and deceptively calm, a haunting monument to nature's power and human vulnerability.